Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today, AMD's Radeon RX 5500 XT is definitely coming. Intel has lost it. 5 nanometers is around the corner. And 3 nanometers? Okay, it's news time, man. First up for today, the RX 5500 XT is pretty much definitely coming, as we have leaked renders of cards, packaging, plus quite a few early listings on retailers. As of right now, it looks like it'll have 1408 stream processors and is expected for a release on December 12th, which, given these leaks, I really wouldn't doubt that. Of course, how good it is will mostly depend on price, and we'll have to see how well it performs compared to the non-XT variant. Next up, it seems like every time I see an interesting story about Intel, it's negative. And no, it's not something I seek out, but man, are they screwing up a lot lately. Cascade Lake X was pretty much a fail, although there is a place for their 18 core part, especially when you overclock it, but then there's all the deceptive marketing we've seen recently, and that's where today's story comes in. During an event in China, Intel showed this slide, and it's unbelievable. At first, I got the translation from WCCF Tech, but I wanted to make sure Intel wasn't just claiming that they had faster clocks to Ryzen or something that, while unimportant, isn't completely out there. So I asked the GamerMail Discord server for translations, and within seconds, I got a ton of responses. So first, thanks to all who helped. As far as the translation, um, no, it's horrible. I'll have one of the translations that I got up here, but keep in mind that I got more than one, and they basically said the same thing. First up, it actually states that the 9350KF leads all of AMD's Ryzen 5 3000 series lineup. Of course, leads is a bit vague, but don't worry, they expand on that. In the first bullet point, it flat states that the i3-9350KF can beat the Ryzen 5 3600X and not just gaming, but office and content creation. Remember, this is a 4-core, four 4-thread four part against AMD's 6-core, 12-thread CPU. But that's not all. It also says that the 9100F can beat AMD's 6-core, six 6-thread, six 3500X, and that the 9600KF leads over the 3800X. Then they claim they're smoother, whatever that means, and that the 9600KF gets clocks as high as 4.6 GHz, which is irrelevant for two different architectures. So yeah, I, I don't even know where to begin with this. I mean, the last gen 2600X completely crushes the 9350K at basically everything but gaming, and it's already really close there. In everything but gaming, it flat wouldn't stand a chance against the 3600X. All I could think is that they literally found maybe one or two random benchmarks that it wins in and called it a win. I don't know. And between this and all the other crap they've done in the past, no, I'm not getting over their performance claim when they compared their last gen at 15 watts to their new gen CPU at 25. It's absolutely ridiculous. Intel, stop this. You know how to make great CPUs. Just spend the money and make better products. You can even price your current ones reasonably enough or discuss their slight leading games. But this, this is ridiculous. Stop it. Next up for today, we have a report from China Times who actually claims the company's 5 nanometers is already hitting 50% yields, which overtakes their 7 nanometer yields early on. Remember that 5 nanometers gets 1.8 times the density over 7 nanometers, as well as 15% higher clocks at the same power, or 30% less power consumption. Basically, things are moving along really quickly for TSMC, and if the company doesn't have any roadblocks, we should see 5 nanometers coming to desktop in just a couple years. Lastly, while it seems as though we just got to 7 nanometers and we're only recently hearing about 5 nanometers, TSMC is talking 3. Yeah, that's 3 nanometers. According to TSMC's senior VP, J.K. Wang, the company is planning 3 nanometer manufacturing and promising to begin HVM as early as 2022. That's actually a year sooner than their original plan of 2023. Apparently, we can expect products built on this node by the end of 2022. Of course, this is a huge step, so they could be a bit off by that, but it's clear the company is confident since they're going even earlier than they originally claimed. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Is Intel being highly deceptive or no? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.